What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my prediction for WrestleMania 36. I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of great matches, but with everything that's happening with the coronavirus, a lot of people are concerned and not even interested in WrestleMania this year. It makes sense, I understand, but a lot of the matches are of interest to me. It does suck, though, having no audience in attendance for a huge pay-per-view like WrestleMania, let alone just the regular Raw and SmackDown shows. So, to me, it's something that we just have to deal with. I personally would, personally would have liked them to push back WrestleMania until around SummerSlam time, maybe in place of SummerSlam, because WrestleMania is so important. And to me, that's where they make the most money, is off of the live audience, the people buying the merch, the live access, everything that they do for WrestleMania weekends, the Hall of Fame, the TakeOver event for NXT. So they're missing out on a lot of money, but I think they just want to go ahead and do it because they already paid a lot of wrestlers to be in matches at this time. So they might as well just go ahead with the pay-per-view. So maybe they'll have a makeup pay-per-view maybe SummerSlam this year will be insane in lieu of WrestleMania not having a live audience we can only do that and hope that that's what they're going to be doing but we'll see how long this coronavirus happens to take but today I'm going to be doing my prediction for WrestleMania 36 and there is a total of 16 matches and it's going to take place over a span of two days because it's not a live event they can do that and I think that's why they added a lot more matches this year so up first the Women's Tag Team Championship, the Kabuki Warriors versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. For this match here, I know Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross have held the championship before, but I really think it's time because Asuka has been dominating, the their tag team has been dominating, so I think it's time that Alexa Bliss wins, and it's at WrestleMania, so I personally would like to see Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross win this match. That's my final prediction. Next up is going to be Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, I really wish that Heavy Machinery had a bigger push and a bigger role in the tag team match at WrestleMania instead of this match. But with the love relationship between Otis and Mandy Rose that's been happening for months, and then Dolph Ziggler coming in and kind of swooping Mandy Rose away for a story, it was very cool, very creative. Something I personally haven't seen before or not often, so... It is very cool, but for this match here, I hope Otis wins. I know Dolph Ziggler. I know Dolph Ziggler is great in the ring. His moveset's amazing, and I actually like the guy. I've started to hate him over the years, but now I'm really keen on him. I do like him. I wish he had bigger roles, but for this match here, if Otis does not win, it's just going to be a downward spiral in my opinion, and I think he is the favorite for this match, so I'm going to pick Otis for the final prediction. Next up is going to be Aleister Black versus Bobby Lashley. You guys already know... I am a huge fan of Bobby Lashley. I really wish that Bobby Lashley were to get bigger roles and maybe a universal championship. I would have loved to see Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley if Bobby Lashley was put more into main event category instead of how he's been used. But Aleister Black, since he came up from NXT, I've been a huge fan of him as well. For this match here, I can see it going either way and I'd be okay with it. Bobby Lashley wins. I'm a huge fan of him, so for him to get another WrestleMania win, I'd be stoked. But also, Aleister Black, he's just an upcomer. He's rising up, so I think that he's going to win. If anything, I think this year after WrestleMania, it's going to be his year. So my final prediction, I'm just going to say Aleister Black. Next up is Elias versus King Corbin. You guys know I have mixed reactions for King Corbin. I don't like his King gimmick. I'd rather him just be Baron Corbin bald with his older gimmick. I think that would be epic if WWE were to do that. And Elias... I don't really care for him. So for this match here, it's really easy. I'm going to say King Corbin. I think his moveset's awesome. I think the end of days, if he hits that, it's going to be game over for Elias. Elias is pretty good in the ring, but my pick is going to be King Corbin. Next is going to be the Raw Tag Team Championship match, the Street Profits, who I'm surprisingly a fan of. Whenever they started, whenever they came out in NXT, I didn't like their whole party-goer gimmick. A lot of people compared them to Crime Time, which Crime Time was more thug, thug life stuff. And Street Profits is more like a uh, frat house party goers type, which is weird, but I'm getting used to it. And I love it on Raw. The main roster is amazing. Versus Austin Theory, which for some reason I just don't know who he is. And Garza, which I know was or is the Cruiserweight Champion. I know he's upcoming. People are comparing him to Eddie Guerrero. But for this match here, 
for it to be on the main event, or sorry, for it to be on WrestleMania, a huge main pay-per-view for WWE, I'm going to say Street Profits all day because I don't see the other guys winning at all. Next up is going to be the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. It's going to be a triple threat ladder match, which I'm stoked about. And we get to see The Miz and Morrison, the current Tag Team Champions for SmackDown versus The Usos and The New Day. This match here, I'm going to make it really easy. I love these matches, so I'm going to say Miz and Morrison are going to win. That's my prediction. However, I feel like Xavier Woods could potentially make his return at WrestleMania. I don't know. I haven't updated. I never checked to see his status on his injury. But if he does make an appearance and he does return at WrestleMania, I could see the New Day winning this match with the help of Xavier Woods. So it's iffy to see what's going to happen. I really want to see Miz and Morrison retain and win and go on a little bit longer because I see Morrison in the future being Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, possibly have a WWE Championship opportunity. So I don't know if they're going to stay a tag team for much longer, but I really hope they do for now, just because I don't see them doing anything with Morrison for a singles role yet. Final prediction, Miz and Morrison. Next is going to be Intercontinental Championship match. Sami Zayn, who just won his first single, singles title in the WWE. It's been a long time. A lot of people were wondering if it was ever going to happen. It finally did. And he's going to be facing Daniel Bryan. So I could honestly see WWE having Daniel Bryan win. But with all of the hype behind Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn finally getting a push in the company. I'm going to say my final prediction is going to be Sami Zayn. Easy decision for me. I just, even though I'm not sold on him yet, I did hate him for a while. I liked him at first, but whenever he turned heel, I didn't like him. So hopefully he grows on me a little bit more. He's my final prediction for this match, though. Next is going to be Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. This is a big match. I'm a huge fan of both these guys. I love Seth Rollins in the ring. I love everything he has accomplished. He's a huge star. Kevin Owens is a fellow Canadian. I'm a huge fan of him as well. So this match I could see going either way. I'm just going to say my final prediction is going to be Kevin Owens. That's just what I'd like to see a little bit more. Seth Rollins having another WrestleMania win and another WrestleMania huge match is awesome. But Kevin Owens, I really want to see what he can do. And if he wins this match, he's definitely going to be going somewhere further into 2020 with bigger roles. Next is going to be the SmackDown Women's Championship match. It's going to be a fatal five-way. It's going to be the champion, Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Tamina versus Naomi versus Lacey Evans. So up first, Lacey Evans. I don't like her. I don't like her gimmick. I don't like her character. I don't like her personality. I don't like anything about her. So I'm just going to rule her out right now. Naomi is one that she's held the title before, I believe. And I really think that she should get a push or a bigger role. But I don't see her winning this match. Bailey, now that she's heel, I could see her being a little bit more destructive and a little bit more aggressive in the match. So that's a huge up. And that's a huge thing that I could see happening. Sasha Banks, I've been a fan for her. For a little bit, uh, she was last year, I think, about to leave the company, and she ended up re-signing, which is awesome. But for this match here, I really wish Tamina finally has her time. I really wish Tamina wins a singles championship in the company. I know they had a push for her for the tag team division with Nia Jax, I believe. But I'd really like to see her win the championship because she is getting older. She's still aggressive in the ring, and I'd like to see her win this match so she gets an opportunity before she leaves the company in the future. Next is going to be the Raw Women's Championship match. Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler. Now, Shayna came up from NXT. She was a huge threat in NXT. She was dominant. She was aggressive. She has the MMA background. She's a beast. Becky Lynch is the man. So for this match here, as much as I'd like to see Becky Lynch win because it's a WrestleMania match, it's for the championship, we've seen Becky Lynch as the champion quite a bit. I'd like to see Shayna win because that's going to be a huge win for her coming up from NXT and winning this match at WrestleMania for the championship. I could see her doing it. And then hopefully Becky Lynch and Shayna go into a long rivalry for the championship. And I think that's going to be amazing. Even though Becky Lynch won't be the champion anymore, she'll still have great matches and be in a rivalry for the championship. My final prediction is going to be Shayna Baszler. Next up is going to be the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, it's going to be Ray Ripley who I'm a fan of, versus Charlotte Flair. Now, Charlotte Flair won the Royal Rumble this year. It was pretty interesting. Now, we all seen time and time again, Charlotte Flair winning 
Charlotte Flair winning a championship, the Raw Women's Championship, the SmackDown Women's Championship being a beast. That's fine. That's cool. That's dandy. Whatever. I'm not a fan of her, obviously, as you guys can tell. So winning the Royal Rumble, we all assume she's going to get another championship match at WrestleMania. We just were not predicting the NXT Women's Championship. I think this will definitely push the NXT division for the Women's Division. And Ray Ripley, I'm a huge fan of her. I'd like to see her win. But I feel like Charlotte's going to win. She's going to have some time in NXT just being the champion and holding the championship hostage. And then somebody, maybe Ray Ripley or somebody else, is going to beat her in an epic match. I think this is just a gimmick to elevate the NXT women's division. Next is going to be the last man standing match between Edge and Randy Orton. Once Edge returned his music hit at the Royal Rumble, I was extremely excited. And then to find out that he signed a three-year, multi-million dollar year uh, deal with the company and he's going to have four to five appearances a year having one at WrestleMania against Randy Orton because of everything that Randy Orton did leading up to it this is going to be an epic match I can't freaking wait Edge's return to WrestleMania I'm extremely happy I love this my prediction for this match is it's going to be a long fought out match it's going to be very interesting it's going to be a return to the, their rivalry from the past it's going to be epic because they have great chemistry. I'm going to say the final prediction for this match is going to be Edge. There's no other way that this match is going to happen. It has to be Edge or the fans are going to go nuts at home because there's no live audience. Uh, next up is going to be John Cena versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Now, Bray Wyatt, his gimmick, whenever he became The Fiend, I was interested in it. And then I absolutely started to love it. When he won the Universal Championship, I thought, great, good for him. He started to be very dominant. And then that quickly got taken away when Goldberg beat him really quickly in a match. And it took everything that he built up for his character away. So for this match here facing John Cena, if John Cena comes out winning, for what reason? There's no reason for him to win. He's not much in the company anymore. Bray Wyatt loses to John Cena. It's going to be a downward word spiral for a very long time, and he's not going to be back at the caliber of destruction that he was when he started the Fiend gimmick. So this match here, final prediction, and the only way I see this match happening is Bray Wyatt winning. Next up is going to be the Boneyard match, which is essentially a buried alive match between The Undertaker and AJ Styles. I really think the club's going to have some effect in this match. They're going to be there, but hopefully there will be a, an appearance from Kane in this match to help even the odds a little bit. That's my prediction that's going to happen. This match here, it's The Undertaker. I'm going to predict that The Undertaker is going to win. He doesn't have the streak anymore. He doesn't have anything to lose, but AJ Styles facing him in a Buried Alive match. If it was a regular one-on-one, -on -one, I would honestly pick AJ Styles all day, but a Buried Alive match, it's Undertaker's Yard. He knows this match. He's been in a lot of them. AJ Styles hasn't. Undertaker's going to take the win. That's my final prediction. Next up is going to be the Universal Championship match. Now, originally, it was supposed to be Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. However, recently, it has been announced or leaked that Roman Reigns is not going to be at the pay-per-view because of his leukemia. His immune system is down, and he thinks it's a threat going and facing and having a match at WrestleMania due to the coronavirus, the pandemic that's happening right now, which I can respect. But WWE on their website and on Facebook have not changed the match. It's rumored right now that it's going to be Goldberg versus Braun Strowman. So I'm going to predict both. If it was going to be Roman Reigns, I would predict that Goldberg would win. And he would lose it shortly after to somebody that's bigger and badder. But I would honestly feel like Goldberg would beat Roman Reigns. But now facing Braun Strowman... Braun Strowman won the Intercontinental Championship earlier in 2019. He was very dominant with it. He was a very dominant, a lot of great roles, and he's been epic to watch. So if he loses to Goldberg for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, I think everything they built on him in the last year or so is going to be right out the window. Braun Strowman better win this match if he's going to be in it. They haven't announced it yet, but my final prediction, if Braun Strowman's in this match... Braun Strowman should win because he did win the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship and that was his first singles title in the company. But having the Universal Championship at WrestleMania facing Goldberg and winning that match will be great for his career. So that's my final prediction for that match. And the last match, which is supposed to be the main events, is going to be Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre, who won the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. This match here is epic. 
Drew McIntyre, if you look back before he left the company, it didn't seem like he'd ever be in this position. Once he came back, he was very dominant in NXT. He was very dominant on the main roster. He finally got his push, won the Royal Rumble, eliminated Lesnar, if I believe correctly. And then throughout the weeks on Raw and SmackDown, he ended up kicking Lesnar in the face. I didn't realize how tall Drew McIntyre is. He's taller than Lesnar. So this match here, as much as Lesnar is dominant, Lesnar is a beast, if Lesnar win this, wins this match, for what reason? He's been here. He's done that. Let somebody else win. Hopefully, WWE sees that way as well. Hopefully, Drew McIntyre gets his win, gets his push, gets his first WWE championship in the main event at WrestleMania against the Beast, Brock Lesnar. That would be the best ending for the night, in my opinion. And I really hope if he were to win... There'd be a huge celebration at the end where a bunch of WWE talent came out and helped Drew McIntyre celebrate. I think that would be epic to see. So I really hope to see Drew McIntyre win. Once he won the Royal Rumble, everybody was started to see his potential and see, damn, this could actually be something that happens at Mania. Lesnar losing the WWE Championship to Drew McIntyre. And I think it's going to happen. That's my prediction for the main event. So this is my prediction for all of WrestleMania 36. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what your predictions are. Who do you think is going to win in all of the matches for WrestleMania 36? I know there's no live attendance. I know that does suck and people do hate that. But we have to deal with it and it is still going to be an epic show. It's just we're not going to hear the live audience in the background. And they're not going to do as phenomenal of stuff and effects because there's nobody there to enjoy it. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.